Hi guys and welcome back to Grace Gaddy Pilates. Today I'm going to take you through an abs and glutes reformer session. So we're going to start with one red spring and you're coming into a four point kneeling position on your carriage. Shoulders are in line with your wrists, knees in line with your hips. You're going to start with a few cat cows here to warm up through the lower abdominals, your back, to get everything moving. So exhale as you start to press away and draw your gaze towards your belly button. And then you're going to inhale, let your belly hang, draw your gaze forward, get that release through the back. Exhaling, start to scoop up through the lower abdominals, pressing away, gaze towards your navel. And then inhale, let your belly hang, draw your gaze forward. So you're going to find a neutral spine here. You're not arching and you're not rounding. Place your feet on the platform behind you. Think about drawing up through your lower abdominals, start to hover your knees off the carriage, extend your legs out nice and long. We're finding a plank position here, nice and energized through the legs. I want you to lift out of your shoulders. Now to draw, bend the knees, draw the carriage in and then extend. We're holding here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend your knees and then exhale, extend. We're repeating that. We're holding here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Instead of bending our knees this time, we're going to start to slide the carriage forward and then draw it back in line with our shoulders. We're exhaling, pushing that carriage away. Inhale, drawing it back in line with our shoulders, keeping our legs nice and strong and drawing our belly button to your spine. We've got four more here. Using your breath. And for three, exhale, pressing away. You've got two and your last one here. Draw your hands back in line with your shoulders, bend your knees, draw the carriage all the way in. Well done. From here, we're gonna place our right foot on the headrest and our left toes are tucked on the carriage behind you. So make sure they're on the carriage. And then you're gonna reach down, grab hold of your short loops, one in either hand. You're going to come up into this really high kneeling position, gaze is forward, shoulders are down, arms are straight. As you exhale, start to pull your hands all the way back by your hips and then inhale, float your arms forward. So it's a nice little balance challenge here. Your belly button's drawing to your spine and keep lifting through the crown of your head. Exhale, pulling back. So you can either choose to keep your knee down or if you'd like to add on a challenge, you're going to start to press into both feet and hover your left knee off of the carriage and continue working through the arms. So slowly and carefully start to lift that knee off, arms are straight, you're gonna exhale, pull back, inhale to float the arms forward. If this is too much for you, keep the knee down, continue what we were doing before. We've got four more like this, exhale, pulling back, arms are straight, gaze is still forward, three more. For two, and your last one here, exhale, pulling back. On this next one, pull the hands all the way by your hips, hold it here, little pulses up and down through the legs. We've got six and five for four, for three, two, one. Hold it here, keep the arms still, you're gonna hinge the upper body forward, and then exhale, draw it back up straight. Inhale, hinging forward, exhale, drawing up. We've got two more, keeping that carriage as still as possible. One more here. Well done. Slowly and carefully lower yourself all the way down. Release the right foot on the headrest. We're going to swap legs over. So place your left foot on the headrest this time. Make sure your right toes are tucked. We've got the same deal. So you're going to keep your knee down. You're going to exhale, pull back, and then inhale, float your arms forward. Feel a slight drawing of the shoulder blades as you pull into your straps. Belly button's drawing to your spine. Make sure that your hips are square so they're facing forward. Exhaling and then inhaling to release. Remember you've got the option. So if you'd like to make it a little bit more challenging, let's start to float the right knee off of the carriage and continue with the arms here. If that ever gets too much, keep the knee down, continue with the arms for the whole set. Good. We've got six more like this before we're going to come into our pulses. For five, exhale, pulling back. Arms straight for four. You've got three, 
two more here. Last one, exhale, pulling back. Now pull the hands all the way by your hips. Hold it here, little pulse up and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold still without letting the carriage move. Lean the upper body forward. Exhale, draw back up. We've got four to go. Arms are still. Three more here. The back leg and front leg aren't moving. Two more, you're on the home stretch. And you've got your last one here. Slowly and carefully lower your right knee down. Bring the left leg back onto the carriage. Long loops coming onto your shoulder pins. Well done, you're gonna step out of there. And we're gonna grab hold of this short box. Place it in between your shoulder rests and your shoulder pins. And make sure that you are going to place your feet underneath of the strap. So you're gonna sit evenly into the middle of the box. Feet under the straps, you're gonna flex the toes back, hands across your chest, gazes forward. As you exhale, start to roll off your sit bones. You're gonna come down halfway, and then you're gonna inhale, lift yourself all the way back up. So we're just working into our abdominals here, coming into that beautiful C curve. Legs are straight, toes are flexed back. That's gonna help save you here. Exhaling, rolling off the sit bones. Inhale to lift yourself up. Beautiful work. You guys have got it. Just a few more like this before we're gonna come into pulses halfway. On this next one, roll yourself down. You're gonna hold yourself here, little tiny pulse up and down. Think two inches up, two inches down. Exhale, lifting, using your abdominals using your breath good guys you've got four more and for three for two last one here hold yourself here extend your arms long from here you're going to exhale lift them up to the ceiling inhale to lower down keep those arms straight keep that belly nice and still and those toes flexed back you got it you're in the home stretch here you've got four and three two more Last one here, and then lift up all the way. Nice work. So we're gonna work into our obliques. So carefully turn around on top of the box, have your left foot still underneath of the strap, flex back, hips are tracking forward, and then place your right hand onto the headrest, left hand behind the head. From here, we're going to bend through our right arm, and then exhale to extend. So there's a little bit of there's a little bit of pressure through the right heel of the hand and I want you to focus on almost dunking your head down into the well. So you're creating that nice shape through the side of the waist instead of jutting out the ribs. If you'd like it a little bit more challenging, you can start to float the right hand behind your head. Continue with that movement. So I want you to imagine you're going up and over a beach ball with your side waist here. You've got three more. If you ever feel this in your lower back, place your hand back onto the headrest and continue with the hand there. To make this a little bit more challenging, you're gonna add in a rotation. So rotate towards the well, extend your arms, bend your arms, come back through center, then lift all the way back up. We're gonna make it a little bit quicker. Lower down halfway, hold, rotate, extend arms, bend arms, come back through center, exhale, lift all the way back up. We're gonna continue here just for three more. Keep working into that side waist. We've got two, nice and controlled. And we've got our final one here, lowering down, rotating, extending, bending, coming back through center, lift all the way up. Then you're gonna place your right hand onto your headrest, reach up and over with your left arm, get that deep stretch through the side of the waist. And then you can rotate around to the frame of the reformer. Get that deeper stretch again. And if you'd like to feel it even more intensely, place your left hand over to your right hand. And then coming back through center, slowly peel yourself up. We're gonna swap over to the other side. So place your right toes underneath of the strap. Bend your left knee. Make sure that your hips are tracking forward. Left hand's coming onto the headrest. Right hand's behind your head. We're going to bend through the left elbow, extend the arm, and then repeat. So the more pressure you have in your left hand, the more triceps you're gonna feel, and the less pressure you have in that hand, the more waist you're gonna feel. So play with the pressure if you want to. 
and just keep imagining you're reaching up and over that beach ball with your side waist. If you'd like to make it challenging, hands come behind the head. Nice work, just a few more like this, using your breath before we come into the rotation variation. When you're ready, let's add in that rotation. So extend the arms, bend, come back through center, lift all the way up in this one. Really focus on that rotation through the upper body. Keep your right foot flexed, your legs straight, lifting up all the way. If you're on the home stretch, just a couple more like this. And your last one here, rotating around, extending, bending, coming back through center, lift all the way up, place the left hand onto the headrest, reach up and over, get that deep stretch through the side of the waist. And then you can rotate around to the frame of the reformer, fully relaxed down. And then right hand comes over to left, get that deep stretch. And slowly and carefully come all the way back up. You're gonna to face towards the foot bar and place your heels up against the side of the box. Bend down and change that red spring to one blue spring. And then you're gonna wrap your hands around the foot bar. Start to transfer your weight into the hands and extend the legs out long. You're finding a plank position here. Then you're gonna bend and extend through the legs. So coming into jackrabbits, using your lower abdominals to draw the carriage all the way in and then extend the legs out nice and long. Hold steady through the arms and keep pulling apart that foot bar with both arms so you're lifting out of your shoulders. We've got six more and five for four, three, two, and your last one here. Now we're going to do a burpee modification. So carefully park the carriage, stand up nice and tall. You're going to reach your arms up to the ceiling. Then bend your knees, grab hold of the foot bar, extend the legs out nice and long. We'll go a little bit quicker this time. Draw the carriage in, carefully stand up tall, reach your arms up, bend your knees, wrap your hands around the foot bar, extend the legs, then bend. Just do this in your own time. It gets a little bit scary, especially on a blue spring because the carriage can rattle. But think about control, think about pressing your heels into the box. Nice and steady as you extend the legs. If this doesn't feel great, just continue with your jackrabbits where you bend and extend through the legs. You're gonna come down halfway now, reach your arms out in front and then again, exhale, press through the heels, stand up nice and tall again. So working into some squats here, getting some blood flowing through the legs, sticking your bottom out, making sure your bottom doesn't touch the box as you lower down. Just a few more like this before we're going to come into a 10 second hold. Using your breath here. Arms are reaching out in front. You're now going to come down halfway. We're gonna hold it here. You've got a 10 second hold starting now for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Standing up tall, well done. Step your heels down, make sure your feet are flat on the carriage, wrap your hands around the foot bar, send your hips back over your heels, and I want you to extend the legs out long behind you, and then exhale, draw it back in. Keeping in mind it's on a lighter spring, so you've got to work those abs to draw that carriage in. This one's your elephant, it feels really nice on the spine and the legs. Just get a bit of a stretch, work those lower abs. You're gonna park that carriage, carefully step down, bring the box with you. Take it off to one side and you're placing it on the floor. We're gonna work into our glutes now. So keeping that blue spring, your left foot's coming in the top right hand corner of the box and your right foot's coming up against your shoulder rests. From here, you're gonna bend your left knee, sweep your arms forward, send the right leg back nice and straight. We're working into our left glute making sure you've got weight in the left heel. You can check this by peeling your left toes back. If you can't peel the left toes back, you've got too much weight in the ball of your foot and we need to transfer it to the heel so you can start to work your glute. 
Just a few more like this before we work into our running legs. Two more. Last one here. And you're gonna lower yourself down, hold it, bend and extend through your right leg. Draw the elbows in close by your waist using your breath here. You've got five for four, three using your breath, two more. The last one here, you're going to keep your right leg straight, hands behind the back, little pulses through the front leg. We've got six more for five and four for three, two, one. Slowly draw yourself all the way back up into standing. And then we're going to swap our feet around. So your right foot's coming where your left foot just was. And then your left foot's coming up against your shoulder rests. We're working into our curtsy lunge here. So start to bend through your right knee, sweep your left leg back, sweep the arms forward, bending and extending. Using your breath, working into your right glute this time, making sure you've got weight in your right heel. We've got a few more like this before we work into our running leg with our back leg. Using your breath. On this next one, you're gonna hold it down there, start to run your back leg in and out. Inhaling, exhaling here. You've got seven to go for six before we finish with our pulses for five. Last four, three more here for two. Final one, keep the left leg extended, little pulses through the front leg for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Carefully and slowly stand up nice and tall. Draw the carriage all the way in. Well done. You're gonna step down from there, grab hold of your box, and let's walk over to the other side. We're gonna repeat it on this side now, on the right-hand side. So place that box right up against the reformer. Your right foot's in the top left-hand corner of the box, left foot's up against the shoulder rest. We're gonna start by bending through the right knee, sweeping the arms forward, and then reaching the left leg back, continuing here. We've got three more here for two. Last one here. On this next one, you're gonna lower yourself down, hold it, run your back leg in and out. Four more. For three. Two more before we work into our pulses. Last one here. Keep the left leg straight, hands behind the back, little pulses. Four, three, two, one, carefully and slowly stand yourself all the way up. Nice work, guys. You really should be feeling it through the glute. Let's swap the feet over, left foot where the right foot just was. Now the right foot's up against the shoulder rest. Sweep the arms forward and then draw yourself back up. Use your breath. Drive up through the left heel, three to go. Last one here. Nice work, lower yourself down, hold yourself here. Run your back leg in and out. Three more, two, Last one, keep the back leg straight, hands behind the back. Now, little pulses up and down. Four, three, two, one. Slowly draw yourself all the way back up. Well done. Step down carefully. You're gonna grab hold of that box. Let's place it as a long box on your carriage. Keep the blue spring there and sit right towards the edge of the box, arms are reaching out in front, feet are heavy on the headrest, 
belly button's drawing to your spine, you're gonna roll off your sit bones, lower yourself all the way down. You're gonna interlace your fingertips together and then float your legs into tabletop one at a time. We're gonna work into our obliques here. So draw your right armpit over to your left knee. Try and peel the right shoulder blade off of the box whilst keeping the head heavy in your hand. So you're getting your abs to do the work. Using your breath, you've got four and three, two. On this next one, keep yourself lifted. Extend your right arm long, little tiny pulses up and down using your breath here. Nice work. You've got four pulses for three, two, one. Place the right hand behind your head. Lower yourself down. We're going over to the other side. Exhale, lifting. Inhale to lower. Keeping that head heavy in your hands. You've got five more for four, three, feel those abs working for two. Last one, keep yourself lifted, lifted, extend your left arm, little pulses up and down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, place the left hand behind the head, let's go straight into our crisscross. So you're going to draw your right armpit over to your left knee as you extend your right leg out long and you're alternating here. You've got another six for five, for four, three, for two. Last one. Now I'm going to finish with eight quick ones. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower yourself all the way down. Get that nice stretch and release through the abdominals. And then you're going to carefully peel yourself up using those abs. And you're going to turn around to lie onto your belly. And we're changing over that blue spring to one red spring. Place your hands onto the foot bar, and then you're going to draw the soles of the feet together. Knees come out wide so they separate. Keeping the heels together, toes separated, I want you to drive your heels up to the ceiling. Your aim is to try and peel the thighs off of your box. So you're using your high hamstrings and your glutes. You've got four more like this. For three, two more before we come into little pulses. Last one here. On this next one, you're gonna pulse those heels up to the ceiling. You've got six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower all the way down. Relax the legs out long. Extend your arms out fully. Inhale, start to lift your gaze. Peel your chest off the box. Draw yourself all the way in with your shoulders down and your arms straight. We're working into your extension here. You should feel a really nice stretch through the front of the body and also through your back. Inhaling, lifting, exhaling to lower down. Nice work. Draw the carriage all the way in. Last little bit of high hamstring and glute work. With coming off of the box, I want you to take the box off with you and you're gonna step beside your reformer. Have your left foot in line with the end of the carriage and then place your right foot around the edge of the, edge of the carriage. You're gonna draw your right knee so it's in line with your left and I just want you to hold it here. You're gonna connect through the left glute and the right glute. Now you're gonna to start to press through your right leg. Try and draw that right knee further behind than your left leg. Keep working through the right glute and the high hamstring. Have a soft bend through your left leg. Now, once you've felt that connection, keep your right leg behind you. We're holding here. Just a few more seconds. And then slowly release that carriage all the way back in. So it's a really effective way to target your high hamstring and your glute. So let's try it on the other side. Wrap your toes around the edge of the carriage. Draw the carriage back so it's in line with your right knee. We're just going to hold it here. So you're starting to connect through the left glute. Once you've got that connection, you're going to press through the left leg. Draw that leg back a little bit further behind than your right. Nice work. Keep that connection. 
Now I want you to hold your left leg up a little bit further behind and hold it here. Soft bend through the right knee. Just a few more seconds. And then draw the carriage all the way back in. Nice work, you really would have felt that them switching on. You're gonna take a seat on the side of your carriage and give yourself a glute stretch. So right ankle of your left knee, you can press down on your right knee, get that stretch and release through the, the hips and the glute. Once you've stretched that out, you can swap to the other side, get that stretch and release through the left glute. You've worked hard today, working on your abs and your glutes, a little bit of leg work as well through the quads. And I'll see you again next week. Thanks so much, guys.